Are you ready? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Lost is here once again. Season one, episode five, I believe. No, four. <laughs> We're on four. This has been a unique journey so far. Um, not many episodes in, but we're chugging along. We're chugging along, trying to understand the cat, trying to know the characters, trying to, you know, know their names, all of that good stuff. So it's been a quite um, the journey today, but we're going to keep chugging. Anyways, guys, um, if you guys want to watch more episodes early, Make sure you go check out the Patreon. Make sure you go check out membership. However you want to watch. Which one of them you want to join. They both enjoy early access for the channel. Okay. So you can watch ahead. Don't have to wait on me to edit these episodes and put them on YouTube. Because I don't know. I don't even know. At this point I'm recording right now. I don't even know what it's going to be like when I try to get these up on YouTube. But fingers crossed. Everything will be okay. Just like how we did with Prison Break. But... In any case, let's jump into the episode and I will see you guys at the end for the review. behind you jackass <laughs> a lion that growl a wolf I'm gonna shed some light on this thing oh Aina the hell is that that's not a wolf what the bloody hell was that boars Boars. That's a growl coming from a boar? Jesus. That sounds. Maybe because they were inside of the plane was amplified. Get rid of the bodies. Bury them. There's a whole bunch in there. Not bury. Also, boars, great source of food. They're people. I know they're people, Kate. Burning the remains. They deserve better than that. Better than what? Excuse me? Being eaten by what seems harsh. That fuselage in the sun, it's not about what they deserve. Exactly. And we're not. What you say may be true, but for us to decide how these people are laid to rest, no regard for their wishes, their religions. You want to ask time, them? Because I... Um... I'm not happy about it either. But we crashed a thousand miles off course. They're looking for us in the wrong place. Wait until the sun goes down tomorrow night before we set the fire. Yeah, y'all need so to burn those to bodies. bodies. Why are we waiting until sundown? He's hoping someone will see it. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't sleep last night. There are better things to do with my time than collect firewood. You don't agree with Jack? What are you making? Too soon to talk about. I'm not sure if it'll even work. You're trying to pick up the transmission, aren't you? The one we heard on the transceiver. If the French woman's transmissions have truly been playing on the loop for 16 years, then there must be a power source on the island. A significant one. And you can find it? Hypothetically, yes. I may be able to use the transceiver to triangulate the signal. Find out where it's coming from. So what can I do to help? It appears you're as anxious to get off this island as I am. Let's knock it off! Stay out of this metro! Hey! Freak! <laughs> my own stash i found it in there what about the rest of the food there is no rest of the food dude we kind of ate it all what there are plenty of things on this island we can use for sustenance and exactly how are we gonna find the sustenance go hunting we hunt <laughs> 
Duh. How'd you get that knife on the plane? Checked it. Okay, Mr. Locke, what is it that we're hunting? The boars that we saw. We know there are wild boar on the island. Razorbacks by the look of them. The ones that came into the camp last night were piglets. 100, 150 pounds each. Boar's usual mode of attack is to circle around, charge from behind, so I figure it'll take at least three of us to distract her long enough for me to flank one of the piglets, pin it, and slit his throat. And you gave him his knife back? <laughs> You've got a better idea. Better than three of you wandering into the magic forest to bag a hunk of ham with nothing but a little bitty hunting knife. He had a whole bunch of knives on the plane. Either he's a hunter or he's a serial killer. <laughs> I don't know yes. what it is. Colonel Locke, is this line secure? Roger that. We'll convene at the usual rendezvous point at 1300 hours. Locke, I told you I need those TPS reports done by noon today. Not 12.30, not 12.15, noon. I heard you the first time, Randy. I know personal calls during office hours. Colonel? So, hunting boar now, huh? He says this is my first time boar hunting. Uh-huh. Tell me something. How come any time there's a hike into the heart of darkness, you sign up? You know she loves walking. That. She didn't tell you? Actually, I don't. Neither do you. Call me paranoid, but anyone who packs a suitcase full of knives. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're worried about me, Jack. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you have a problem staying in one place for very long, Kate. Sai gave me this so he can triangulate the distress signal we heard. Find the source. This isn't about boars. I'm a vegetarian. Somehow I doubt that. Well, why can't I come? <laughs> I had Excuse to send me. an email really quick. Doctor? Jack. It's important. Claire, right? Yeah. How's the... Oh, he's he's good. Yeah, thanks. Oh, uh, well, some of us were wondering if maybe we should do some kind of memorial service or something. You could lead it. Uh... You no, I don't think it... Well, you know, just a few <laughs> words or... Even we could just read off names from passports and drugs. Look, it's not my thing. Oh, okay. I think y'all are trying to do too much for these dead people. Especially people y'all don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're going to go you. fishing. The ocean is not going to take your gold card. You really don't think I can catch a fish? You can always prove it to us. Find something? That's how boars get the majority of their food they dig. Afterwards, they generally wallow in the dirt, rub up against the trees, scoring it with their tusks. Okay. So what's all that mean? It means we're close. Shannon, right? Yeah. Are you doing anything? Me? No, I, w I was just, uh... What are you doing? Um... I was just gonna go for a walk. She's still wearing makeup. You wanna come? Why? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I wondered when this was gonna come up. Yes, I am the bass guitarist. Yeah, do you know here, anything but... about fishing? What? F fishing? Uh, my granddad used to take me out. He taught me everything he knows. Everything he knew. He's dead now. Throw it in and fish. Liar. Good. A woman's been sitting over there by herself. Maybe she's having trouble dealing with her husband. I don't think she's had anything to eat or drink. Think maybe you can go talk to her? Why me? I'm not a psychiatrist. I mean, maybe you should just thought you might want to do it. You're the one that saved your life. I'll be honest, man. I don't think I don't think the stuff Hi. that they're trying to do right now is Rose, right? We don't have to talk. Let's just sit for a while. Hey, quick, giving us the steel signal. Oh my god. You idiot. 
You scared it away. What is it with your damn toes, my guy? It's bad. Move. You've got to move, Colonel. Your troops are across enemy lines. Patience. The quality which you lack, GO12, is the hallmark of a leader. Oh, so he's not really military to just call him more that? About being a leader, Locke. While you're at it, tell me about this Colonel thing. Tell me, what's a um, walk about? Experience the dream journeys of the fabled Australian Outback. You have no right taking that off my desk. Not that you would understand, but a walkabout is a journey of spiritual renewal where one derives strength from the earth and becomes inseparable from it. I have vacation days. I'm going, Randy. I already made a reservation. Wow, John, you're really doing it, huh? You tell Helen yet? You got a woman in your life. That's none of your business. What is it with you, Locke? Why do you torture yourself? When I mean, imagining you're some uh, hunter and walkabouts, wake up. You can't do any of that. Double amputee, no legs. He climbed to the top of Mount Everest. Why? It was his destiny. That's what you think you got, old man? <laughs> destiny. Wow, Captain Douche over Just here. Don't tell me what I can't do. John. Lock. He's gonna have some sort I'm of psychological I'm problem. I'm Helen. Bro. I just got the wind knocked out of me as well. Helen? What? He called me Helen. Did I? Which way did that boar go? Uh uh. Michael's hurt. We have to get him back to camp. Oh. Yeah, you take him back to camp. I'm gonna oh. get that boar. What are you talking about? Oh. I'm fine. I can do this. Don't tell me what I can't do. Excuse me. Your name's Saeed, right? Yes. I just found this. It's got your name on it. I thought I'd lost this. Thank you. Sure. Bernard, my husband. His hands swell up whenever we fly. He started having me hold on to his wedding ring whenever we took a plane trip. I always wore it around my neck for safekeeping, just until we landed. Promise. The one you made me on the plane, to keep me company until my husband got back from the restroom. I'm letting you off the hook. Rose, you shouldn't be out here alone. That's You're true. Suffering from post traumatic shock. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't yeah, we all? We are. Indeed. I have never felt so alive. Getting to finally tell Randy off was uh, life changing. I mean it. I, now I'm, I'm free to do all those things I ever wanted to do. Things that I know I was destined to do, like we talked about, Helen. I'm flying to Australia at the end of the week, and I've, uh, I bought two tickets. I like yeah, I you, know. and I've enjoyed talking with you oh, these so past few months. Eight months. I'm not allowed to meet customers. A customer is, uh, is, is that is that what I am to you? This isn't really normal. I mean, it isn't what I do. I, I don't. Maybe you should find a. I don't know. A Wait. therapist. I. Bruh. Have a therapist. Is she a call girl? Well, if we talk any longer, I'm gonna have to charge you for another hour. That's another eighty nine ninety five. You can't. Look, I don't care about the money. I just. I'm sorry, John. I gotta go. No, uh, help, help. Bruh. Helen. Helen. I just rest here for a minute. I thought the guy with the gimpy leg should be deciding when we rest. Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to boost the transceiver signal. I'm gonna climb this tree. I have to hatch an antenna. Can you see it? This guy's what?
bruh. You better go. What are you gonna do? All I'm thinking is like a big ass gorilla. That's all I can think of. Just, just take it. The mighty huntress returns. What's for dinner, huh? Not now. I don't think the hunt went very well. The bald guy never came back. Wait, they didn't bring back any food at all? Did you hear what I just said? Somebody might have died out there. Well, we're <laughs> all gonna die if somebody doesn't do something. There you are. As promised, you and I will be dining on fresh catch of the day. Oh! You know, I, I got I it in the shallows. I, I cornered it. Oh, what's the matter? I can't stand to see me fending for myself? I'm so sorry about this. Well, Seriously. No, it's okay. What are you apologizing to for? Him you, for you, for using this poor girl like you use everyone else. Oh, whatever. And somewhere in your twisted little brain, you think this proves that you can take care of yourself. <laughs> She's the I told you I'd catch a fish, didn't I? That's low, Shan, even for you. Oh, go. You know. But it seems like she was the only one that survived that loss of my other plane. To say goodbye to Bernard. Doctor, my husband is not dead. Rose, he was in the tail section of the plane. It broke off in mid-flight. I'm sorry, but everyone who was in the rear of the plane is gone. They're probably thinking the same thing about us. Doctor? Bruh. Coming? Y'all think I'm this sorry. plane crashed on purpose? Guess I, I don't gotten know, right man. I wonder if this is like an experiment of sorts. I suppose I'll just try again. Of course, I have no welding iron, no rivets, scorched wiring. And it seems I must continue to lie to anyone who asks me what it is I'm actually doing. Said, I'll try it again. You okay? That's when you say I told you so. I'm not big on rubbing it in. Lock's gone. That thing, it, it was moving in his direction. There wasn't time. I just don't think they're ready to hear about some what the hell, bro. Jack, Jack, Hawk. Don't tell that man what he can't do. So that thing, the monster, whatever. She said it was headed right towards you. Did you see anything? Get any kind of look at it? No. And the lie detector determined that that was a lie. <laughs> now it's we arrange here. I'm not just some stroll through the park. It's trekking across vast stretches of desert, rafting bloody treacherous woods. Well, you've climbing. got no idea who you're talking to. I'm well aware of what's involved. Believe me. The lock. You neglected to tell us <laughs> about your condition. My condition is not an issue. I've lived with it for four years. It's never kept me from doing anything. Well, unfortunately, it is an issue for our insurance company. I can't keep the bus waiting any longer. It isn't fair. What is the it? Don't talk to That's... me about it. fair. Look, I've been preparing for this for years. Just put me on the bus right now. I can do this. No, you can't. Hey, hey, don't you walk away from me. You don't know who you're dealing with. Don't ever tell me what I can't do, ever. I'm supposed to but do this. But he's walking. Don't tell me what I can't do. Don't tell me what I can't. Did he, how, how is he walking again? What's going on? It fixed them? The crash. That's crazy. The crash flicks them. Maybe it was a psychological block. He was paralyzed.
<laughs> One of the things I've always wanted to do in life is hunt. Still, I haven't gotten a chance to do it. Too much shit to do. <laughs> You know, but it's one of the things that when I started a reaction channel, I did a reaction video and I, you know, um, I talked about it where I really wanted to go hunting. And a lot of the subscribers was like, yo, come through, bro, North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? Come through. We'll think you hunting. Blah, blah. I'm planning to do a hunting tour in the south somewhere, staying with some subscribers. I guess I could go back and let them know, yo, uh, you know what I'm saying? If I get the time to do it. Um, I think um, I've done a lot of things that I never thought I would ever get a chance to do. Um, you know, in life. You know, I've done, you know, um, I've jumped out of an airplane. You know what I'm saying? Um, sky, I went skydiving. I've done the whole gravity thing. Um, you know, but there's a few things like I was on stream the other day and I was talking about, it, I was like, there's a few things that I have not done. You know what I'm saying? It's been a while since I've been to a zoo, never been to an aquarium. Um, and I guess that's mainly because I think one of the things I've never been to Disney world either. I don't know what the big deal is, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't think, I, I think maybe I'm, I'm may pass through one of these days and go see what it's like. You know, just to say I've been there, but it's not like one of those things where it's like, yo, I got to go to Disney World one of these days. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no excitement for that. I would more, um, um, I'm planning to do a cruise, um, across Europe, you know, because there's not many European countries that I've been to, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I do want to do that for a cruise, but the freaking tickets, not the tickets, but the fear to do it. You know, cause it's like from here in Miami, go anywhere in Europe, like you planning a trip, plan a trip like that is, you know, it's at least anywhere from, you know, like a 10 day, 10 day cruise. So it, you know what I'm saying? The dollar signs are there. Um, especially if you want to, you know, um, have a good time, you know what I'm saying? And if I'm going to do it, I don't want to do it cheaply either as in you know staying like the lowest cost cabin or anything like that like i would want to do it like you know in a suite on a ship you know what i'm saying living a little large you know what i'm saying <laughs> live a little large enjoy the trip you know what i mean so but right now because of the whole coming off of the pandemic stuff the the, the fears are like out of this world <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it's out of this world no i, I mean I could throw the money at it, but it doesn't make sense. I know it's because of, you know, a lot of these companies right now, they're trying to, you know, get back some of that revenue that they lost during the pandemic. So, you know, the prices are high. Everything is high right now. I mean, gas prices, high. everything, everything is just going to, to crap, but you know, we're gonna, you know, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna move forward. We're gonna, we, we're gonna get there. One of these days I'm, you know, I'm going to be missing for, for some days and you, you know you just know that that's what it is uh, but this this episode here of lost man um you know uh, i'm thinking that it was a psychological issue with it because because you being paralyzed like physically like you being paralyzed like physically because something happened to you maybe your spine stopped working or whatever the situation is maybe you're paralyzed before you took a long fall whatever the situation is um usually you falling from somewhere is not going to solve that issue, right? So it's usually because you're paralyzed by um, psychologically, which is um, something that does happen. You can psychologically be paralyzed, not just your body, but your just your legs. Like it's it's a it's a crazy thing, right? So it is possible to be paralyzed like that. So um, apparently, you know, the crash, the plane crash, broke him out of that. So. You know, of course, because he believes in this trip and this mother earth and all of this other stuff, you know, he's going to attribute it to that. You know what I'm saying? So it explains a lot now that they've kind of showed what his background is. It explains a lot about his character and what he is. 
and he's not really a creep he's more you know what i'm saying he's not a serial killer either. he was just prepared for the trip to go um a part of the trip is i, I think is going hunting and stuff like that it's like a whole experience that you get in australia which i would definitely believe that it's a thing you know what i'm saying to go on you know touring and go you got i guess you had to be a certain age well because they have um as a company if you're doing something like that you definitely need insurance for the people for the customers who are coming through to go do something like this because you can't you know um you can't if they get hurt on the trip they could sue you you get what i'm saying because in turn you you know you are kind of like a layer of protection for them um but for me i think it would have been better not to have insurance but to have them sign a waiver you get what i'm saying like if anything happens to you we're not responsible i think that would be the better way to go and then to have an insurance company you still need insurance just in case but your insurance would be a lot less I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I went off on a tangent there. I have an insurance license, guys, so I, I know a tad bit about this. Um, it, as, as I'm saying, it would be a lot cheaper for the company to just do a waiver. And most people are going to sign it anyways. You know what I'm saying? Most people are going to sign it, but um, I'm pretty sure they probably still have a waiver in place um, for them. But the whole, you know what I'm saying? You taking somebody who's paralyzed on a chip like that is not liable that's completely ridiculous like i i didn't even i didn't really call it out while i was watching the episode but it's completely ridiculous for him to think that you can go do something like that when you're a liability to everybody else pretty much because if they get into a situation where they have to run from a wild animal or something like that that happens bro who are gonna have the time to be pushing you around in a wheelchair you can't walk what do you mean you're ready for this you are clearly not <laughs> You know what I mean? It's a condition and they didn't, they didn't say he was paralyzed. I think he's probably ha had some mental issues because, um, of the sort and his stuff like that. And it kind of explains why the manager was being such a dick to him and be like, you can't do that, bro. <laughs> what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? But Hey, he's got his feet back. So congratulations, sir. Hopefully you become an asset to the team. <laughs> um, in any case, um you know the whole situation with them having a memorial service hey whatever puts your minds your mind at ease i'm not one of those people who you know what i'm saying get very sentimental about death situation i've talked about this multiple times in um you know what i'm saying on the channel and stuff like that that i'm you know people consider me a very i don't know morbid person because i don't really like people die and I'm, I, I move on. I don't, I don't wallow in say, Oh, I need, you know, uh, weeks and months and years to mourn a person. Like, I just understand that death is inevitable and it's, I just under, I understand. I'm not saying other people don't understand it. Everybody deals with death in different ways. However, they want to, they want to more. Some people mourn for a day. Some people mourn for a year. It is what it is. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, life got to go on. I just move on a lot quicker than most people. It's just what it is. Um, you know, I, I don't know if you guys have been around the channel that long, but I lost somebody a few months ago um, that was very close to me, very close to me. That lady taught me so many things. Um, you know, she was a pastor to me. She was a mother to me. She was a, a lot to me. And at the funeral, when I went to the funeral, yes there were tears i you know what i'm saying i felt it you know what i'm saying but i was able to come home and sleep after the funeral i was fine <laughs> and it sounds weird but it's, it sounds weird but i don't i don't wallow in that and that stuff i don't know if something is is wrong with my wiring i don't know but for me it's just like they're dead right they died on the plane we need to burn these bodies because they're gonna start decomposing very soon and it's not going to smell nice around here so these bodies need to be burned we don't have time to to dig holes and bury them according to religion and all of this other stuff i think that stuff is just ridiculous anyways you know what i'm saying but some people take that stuff very seriously so i don't want to disrespect anybody's religion or whatever 
the situation is if you're watching the channel i don't mean any offense it just doesn't you know what i'm saying for me it's just like um it's not gonna be in my will that i need to be picked up in a in a in a, in a, mon in a mausoleum and, and uh, all of this other different stuff i need my casket to be you know i'm like all black on black or <laughs> and all of this other stuff listen man as a matter of fact as a matter of fact I, as a matter of fact my will i do have a will matter of fact i need to update my will actually as i'm talking about wills um i do need to update it make sure listen i don't want to be no urn do do whatever y'all want to do whatever make y'all happy because i'm gone you know what i'm saying i'm gone and it's it's at the end of the day you can demand man all of these different things but at the end of the day it's meaningless i could tell you bury all of my money with me are you gonna do that if it's in my will like that's just, just just be ridiculous even though some people have done it in the past this is, you know what i'm saying um so i do understand when people get sentimental they just they're just different we're different you know what i'm saying and that's okay so um this episode of course the situation and trying to set up these little antennas or whatever it didn't work out because now we have john look saying he didn't see the the animal whatever it is i think it's a big gorilla I don't think it's as big as say a King Kong, but I think it's just a big gorilla that's like towering, maybe like about seven feet taller or something like that. It's just oversized animal. It could be another polar bear as well um, that's there. He's saying he didn't get a good look at it. You were standing right there. And why did he let you live? Who I don't know. Maybe you're, you know what I'm saying? Already one miracle happening to you. So this one is not so far off but at least we have boar to eat there's also the situation with what jack is seeing this other guy that he's seeing in a suit that's why i'm saying i'm thinking that maybe i wonder if this is an experiment and this it was meant to see you know you know how i don't know i don't know what to say maybe this was planned i should say you know that would be incredible if this was planned because it's going to get real interesting if, if this whole thing was planned and they were supposed to land on this island, to crash land on this island, and they were just, you know, put these people in a specific bubble and whatever. Uh, or maybe this is like uh, uh, rich people wanting to hunt, you know, regular people. Or, listen, man, it's out here. You seen Squid Game? These people. <laughs> Anyways, guys anyways um that is all i have for you guys today the series is getting interesting man appreciate you guys thank you guys so much for sticking around man this is my last episode for today you guys get what two episodes yeah two more episodes man um you know what as i'm sitting here i just realized that i might not have posted that second episode on patreon but that's neither here nor there you guys don't care by the time you're seeing this or they might see this video. <laughs> um, I just realized that I might not have posted that second episode because I did not watch it. The, I, I watched it the next day, not the same day. So I didn't protect, I didn't put up um, Gamora either. You know, I just put that up this morning because I completely forgot. Somebody had did reminded me this week as well. And I still didn't remember to do it. <laughs> so in any case, Thank you guys so much. Leave a like, leave a comment, man. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. I'm out. Peace.